you probably don't need a pre-wedding photo shoot anymore because you can edit your own photo in just a few seconds. For example, this woman is wearing a wedding dress and she's reading a book in the library background, which looks pretty. However, the actual picture wasn't look like this. So the woman is actually just reading a book and she's wearing just some casual dress. So you can use AI to edit your own photo to wear a completely different outfit. And you can do it in just a few seconds thanks to this AI model from Black Forest Labs called Flux One Context. And I'm going to show you how, how you can use this free AI tool to edit your own photo. So the first thing that you need to do is that you have to navigate to Playground dot bfl dot ai actually i'm going to put the full link in the video description and after that you can sign up for free using your email or using your uh, google account and you'll get 200 credits which is enough to create uh, 200 images or 50 images with four generations each anyway after that uh, you can upload your own photos so for this example i'll try to use this photo of a man just walking on the street and she's, uh, he's wearing just some casual clothes but let's change the clothes into something else. I'm going to click this button and let's click that photo. And I'm going to tell AI that I want to, let's say I want to make this person to wear a formal suit. So make him to wear a black formal office suit. All right, now usually I'm going to add this extra prompt uh, which is the face, expression, pose, background, and everything else remains the same. This is optional, but personally, when I'm using this extra prompt, it will make the character of the person more consistent. So I'm going to put that right here. And here you can select the model. There is Flux One Context Pro and Flux One Context Max. The Max version is going to be much more accurate, but usually the Pro version is good enough, and also it is a lot faster and you can adjust the setting you can create up to four images per generation you can do that and i do recommend to do that because it will give you various options because sometimes even though it is very accurate and can maintain the characteristic of the person it could have a slightly different pose or different expression so that's why you want to see uh, which of the variations is going to very close to the actual picture and safety tolerance usually i don't change any of that and from upsampling, it is optional, but I usually just disable that. And the auto format, let's try JPEG. And after that, oh, I forgot to mention that you can select the aspect ratio of the picture. So for this one, I guess I'm going to be using 4 by 3, uh, which is very close to the, the actual aspect ratio of this picture. And after that, you can click this button to send a message. And a few seconds later, Flux One Context will generate multiple pictures, which in this case, four different pictures of the same person, the same environment, same background, everything, except that person will be wearing a completely different suit. And let's see the result. Okay, and there you go. So there are multiple options. And as you can see, it is able to maintain the background, maintain all the people in the background and the lighting, shadow, etc. And they do look pretty amazing. So let's try this one let's look at that okay so this is the person the same pose same expression let me see the original picture again yep this very much the same yeah it looks amazing so how about the previous picture okay this one also looks great and if you want to download this you can just manual right click and download or you can click on this button and click download it's up to you so you can get this new picture to your computer and you can use it maybe for your linkedin profile or something but basically you can use this ai tool which is very good at uh, editing a picture i think it's maybe slightly better than gemini image inform so go ahead use black forest labs Flux One Context to edit any picture. So if you find this video to be useful and if you want to see more amazing AI tutorials that you can use right away, then feel free to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.